Hi, welcome. I am playing around on my freshly built Arch Linux B Budgie 19.10. I just had the idea, hey, wouldn't it be nice if we get this panel transparent? And so it is now. So a quick video for you guys who want to know how we did it. We let's move this tab over here. Can we move the tab to a new window? No then I'm gonna close all the other tabs. Here you go. So this is what I found. So panel budget transparent, I believe that's the first thing I did. Yeah, it is. So this is the first hit. Ask Ubuntu it was here and then the second one was Ask Solus. And in here in Ask Solus, I found something that you can uh, well use as well. Create a new file named GTK CSS. So the guys who are making websites know what CSS is cascading style sheet and it's also uh, working on our systems in the this particular folder and file well folder and folder you should add a file gtk css and this is the copy paste i've done and then you need to restart the budget panel and yes this is all solus and yes we're an arch linux and yes linux is linux i keep telling you think about out of the box so i have um this uh, GT, the dot config gtk3 and then i've added this this little guy so this guy is over here i've been playing around with settings in here so it used to be control z z z z z something like this let's go back all the way back control z control z this was it so you reload the budgie panel replace and this is what it looked like so completely um, transparent if you like it is the way you want it to of course this is then a little bit darker here so i was playing around with these settings with a control c you can stop it running here um, then so with control y i guess or control z let's see if i can redo it i guess not so i've been playing around with all the settings transparent we can make it uh, something like this a means that it's going to keep its transparency and zero is, is, is well, the lights are out, so black, zero, 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 RGB. So everything is out. And then we need to say something from one to zero with a point. So 1.5 is half transparent. If we save this and rerun it, we have something like this. This is half transparent. And the borderline does this this line here that's making it white. So if you say that's ugly, which I was just thinking, then you say let's do it again with a black line, which is still not not that nice. I suppose we'll do something like this. I've never tried this setting, so learning as well. So fine, so that's black black. We can have a 0.5 and see again. So it's really, well, fun, right? You need to change things around here. And if you wanna have a really ugly thing, you can, for instance, um, what is again, RGB, is that 255? I think so, let's see. Okay, so, well, not that ugly, actually. <laughs> not that bad, because of the effect of the 0 0.5. If you put it to one, it's con not going to be transparent, which is going to be really, really, really red. So control Z is actually not that bad. So this is the color. This is all black, telling him to be half black. So transparent for 50-50. And again, control C and like this. This is more like it. And then you can start changing this as well. Maybe you can say, I wanna have here the same as this one. That's maybe more logical. You say, okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. So it makes more sense, readable for next time around. And you have here your transparency. So with an Alt N, I have my wallpapers in variety. And of course we need something light so we can see through it. Here you can actually see that the line is going all through and uh, so that's actually not that bad we're not going to include it so there's a video for it gtk css 
this is the text you need and or other texts i mean it's a css um, coding so go and have a look at, at css coloring and background color and all that rgb rgba and things like that so then you can change your gtk3 elements here gtk.css and make well budgie your own thing all right enjoy <laughs>